Alright, it's back. So here it is, my Sony a7 III that I sent in for repair. Sony Pro Support did a amazing job. I sent this back on Monday and I got it two days later on Wednesday. So big thank you to Sony Pro Support for taking care of this. But this video isn't about me repairing my Sony a7 III. This is actually about the new firmware update that I really want to talk to you guys about. So if you guys didn't know, uh, Sony actually released a new firmware update for the a7 III. But the last thing was what really caught my attention. They've actually added a new time-lapse feature. This essentially has a built-in time-lapse mode now. You don't have to have a external interferometer to actually shoot a time-lapse. You can do it in camera now, which is really cool. So I wanna just dive in and show you guys um, some time-lapse techniques and how you can actually shoot and get really good time-lapses with your a7 III now. Ah, oh, crap. Wanted to get some good audio. I totally forgot to set this mic up. Okay, so now diving into the Sony a7 III menu settings, you're going to want to be going to the first tab right here on the fourth page. And you should see shoot mode drive 2. And uh, you can see register custom shoot setting or intervalometer shoot function. Now this first one is actually where you can actually save your time lapse settings, but we haven't created any. So let's go into the intervalometer shoot and function tab. And basically when you select this, you should see all these settings right here. And this is actually how you control your time lapse. So I have interval shooting on. And basically once you turn that on, every time you click the shutter button, it will begin a interval shooting. So um i'll show you some settings uh, start time will be in two seconds once i click the shutter so that's cool uh this is just an example so shooting interval will be three seconds apart so every three seconds it will take a photo and number of shots will be 30. um ae tracking sensitivity is set to mid i will talk a little bit more about that later and uh now going into the second tab you should see silent shooting in intervalometer which is pretty cool. Um, you can now literally shoot time lapses silent. So I'm gonna leave that on because I think that's a really cool feature. And I'm gonna go back to my shooting screen. And as you can see, once I click the shutter button, you're gonna get this tab come up and it's basically gonna start the interval just like that, which is really cool. Obviously, this is a really cool update and I'm really excited to actually try to implement this in all my daily videos, maybe my vlogs or my films or just anything really so let's go outside somewhere and shoot some time lapses and i'll also show you guys some neat tricks and tips that you could do when shooting time lapses and uh, we'll start off with doing a day to night time lapse all right guys so now i'm all set and ready to go i packed everything but first i need to get a haircut real quick This is my boy Andreas, and he's gonna cut me up right now, get me looking real clean. <laughs> Hey, take care, bro. All right, so now that I'm looking fresh and clean, uh, I made it out here to the beach, and I'm looking for a spot right now so I can set up a time lapse. I'm thinking about doing a day to night time lapse as the sun sets, so let's see. All right guys, so I just found a really cool time-lapse spot. I think I'm gonna set it up here. And right now it is 5.38 and the sun will set at 7 p.m. around there. So the sun's actually still pretty high up in the air and the lighting is pretty harsh. So I might just wait it out a little bit and uh, start the time-lapse a little later. So that way I don't have to wait that long. So here's the tricky thing about day to night time lapses. Uh, the thing is when you start the time lapse, it will normally be a bright day, but when it ends, it's really dark. So you actually need your camera to automatically adjust while you're shooting the time lapse. You need it to adjust to the right exposure when it gets darker and darker and darker. So how do you do that? So I have my a7 III right here and I'm gonna walk you through how I would shoot a day to night time lapse right now. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure that you are on aperture mode. So what I'm gonna do right here is change this dial to the A Basically by changing it to aperture mode, you are now locking your aperture and your ISO and the only thing that should be changing is your shutter. 
So as it gets darker and darker and darker, you actually see your shutter get longer and longer and longer, adjusting to the darkness. So that's basically the concept of how you shoot a day to night time lapse. And after that, you'll bring all your pictures into post and I'll show you a little bit more correcting that you could do inside there. So since my a7 III is occupied shooting a time lapse right now, I'm actually gonna make the most out of my time. And I brought my drone out here to actually shoot some content while this camera is busy. If you have two cameras, leave one for time lapse and then use your other one to shoot all your B-roll with, get your vlogging shots with, or or fly your drone if you want. Great thing about time lapses is that you just leave it there and, and it just does everything for you. So that's a pro tip that I recommend you guys try out if you just want to maximize content. A really cool thing about photography is that sometimes when you go out to shoot, you just meet really awesome people as well. So I just met David. He's gonna try to hang his camera off the cliff right now, try to get a really cool shot, so. See how this works. I'm still pretty new to photography. Just uh, been trying some stuff out for the past like month or two and trying to make up some kind of fun shots like hanging stuff off a cliff or hanging myself off the cliff holding onto the camera. Yeah. Um, <laughs> During this time of lighting, everything just looks so nice. I mean, all this grass, this dead grass looks cool. Um, those flowers look really cool. The water looks really cool. Everything looks really cool. God, I just, I just love sunsets, guys. It's so simple, but I just, I just can't get over sunsets. This is amazing right now. Ah! So if you guys did set up everything correctly on your day to night time lapse, it should end up something like this. All right guys, so now we are back home. And sorry, I actually had to end the time lapse a little early. I was getting really cold out there. And not to mention, I was pretty bored. But you guys get the picture. That's essentially how you shoot a day to night time lapse. And if you do want some more information about it and how to post process the time lapse, I'll leave a link down below to a previous video I've created in the past on how to shoot and edit a day to night time lapse. But overall, I'm really loving the new firmware update. Uh, I think it's a pretty big update for the Sony a7 III and I don't often use the eye autofocus or the animal one, but I definitely will be using the new time-lapse mode that's been added to the a7 III. But if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like, that would mean a lot. And do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell button as well. So that way, when I do upload a brand new video, you guys will be notified. Feel free to leave a comment down below asking any questions. I'll try to get back to all of you guys' comments. I try my best. Thank you so much once again for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.